Hey guys, welcome back to Opinions Matter and today uh, an experiment is just about to happen. We got a 360 camera Rilo and we got the DJI Mavic 2. We're going to put this 360 on top of it and let's see how the footages do. Also, this is kind of a review of the actual footage test of the Rilo because hey, you can put it on a bike, you can put it on a car, but how about putting a Rilo on top of a Mavic 2 and let's check the stabilization out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, as first I showed you that my whole plan was to put a Rilo on top of it. So let's go ahead and begin the installation. To begin the installation, at first you need to take the case, uh, just pop in the case like this and uh, after that you just uh, put the case back in and you pop this thing in back. Now uh, we are going to keep the attachment like this, so you need a th like a, a thread mount adapter or a quarter inch adapter and uh, you do need uh, this uh, mount which is by PGY Tech and this mount actually allows you to put any sort of accessories like GoPro and stuff like that. So to begin we are going to attach this and see how it looks. So quickly we'll turn this and there you go snug fit. Uh, don't worry about the thread make sure your Rilo is sitting like this. Uh, we'll tilt this a little bit little bit so that my props are on not on the way when I'm taking the shot but anyways you guys are gonna see the props and after that we'll do a takeoff so everything is set up my controller is connected ready to go uh, there are some problems I would have to explain you later on uh, we'll deal that later at first let's do a lift up So with all that said, uh, let's do a lift off right now and a moment of truth because I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Uh, let's check it out. Looks like stable and that auto horizon leveling actually looks really, really good. Wow. I mean, like the colors looks fine and everything. So guys, if you think that why didn't I post a 360? Well, there's a lot of problems with it. Whenever you post a 360 video, you have to inject something called 360 metadata and uh, the whole video actually gets converted into 360. I tried to put this clip into a uh, 360 format, but I tried it three times, morning to evening for the last two days, it's not working out. Um, I just don't know, I do not have a lot more time or editing skills because I work two jobs and uh, this is the best I could present to you guys. So if you guys complain, I mean, I have nothing to say. But uh, this video is all about for stabilization and you can see how stable that Rilo and how beautiful the colors, the footages, the saturation, the vibrance is on that Rilo. I mean like literally, um, I've got no, like nothing to say, you know, like this is really beautiful. Now uh, to compare the shades of green, we'll be going into that small stream of river. Uh, unfortunately, that's the dying LA river and uh, well, you guys do not see it every day from the top. But when you see that LA River on the top, it's pathetic that uh, uh, the only little stream of water flows down the LA River because all we did kept on building dams to get electricity. And uh, there you go. In front of you lies a little stream of LA River out there. You can see that the shades of green actually look good. Uh, the white and the blues are also pretty good uh, when you see the horizon. So I pretty much think that uh, this 360 camera is really good because if, if I do a comparison with my Samsung Gear 360, it was horrific and uh, amazing job Rilo on that stabilization and a little bit of, uh, you know, like wavy form here and there just, just because uh, it's on top of a drone and the drone is not at all stable because the gimbal that's always stable. So um, I hope I could entertain you guys with the small footage. Uh, I could not give you 360, but I could present you in an equi-rectangular format just because of the editing and all that stuff. And now let's go ahead and uh, 
you know like finish this whole episode in my next episode i will talk to you about the problems also uh, that this uh, drone faces when you put a 360 on top of it hey guys so you saw how this rilo 360 mounted on top of the dji mavic 2 actually worked the footage is incredibly stable compared to all the shakes that we see mid-air uh, might not be as that good as that of a, a Mavic gimbal because that's a physical three axis gimbal, but Rilo did an amazing job. Uh, so if you like this video and if you think that the opinion is honest, uh, give me a big thumbs up, like, and do subscribe to my channel. Why? Because honest opinions always matter.